Alright guys, Ivan here with another video and this is gonna be about Arnold Classic Australia, the results. Amazing competition. So exciting, so many surprises. I mean, this is like we were watching football or something like that. I mean, everybody says bodybuilding is not a sport because nobody's actually competing. You just bring what you bring. But we have different results from competition to competition, from week to week. So these guys are battling it out. This is like a real sport, you know. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's see who actually won. So uh, let's go from the fifth place. And the last place, actually, we're going to do just top five. And the last one in top five is Luke Sando. He messed it up. He was watery. Definitely way, way worse conditioning from Iron Classic Ohio much more blurry much more watery i don't know what was the reason exactly was it the traveling simply the stress or did he relax a little bit after taking that amazing placement at ohio i don't know but definitely not not as sharp as he was in ohio so he definitely did not deserve to place better than he did and here you can see uh cedric mcmillan next to him and you can see the video you actually can find on my channel where i compared these two guys at the ohio and now cedric brought amazing conditioning much much better condition than before and for that very reason he placed higher than luke in this competition but no, he did not take place number four. The fourth place actually went to Josh Lenartovic. I was expecting Josh to be improved, but not this much. Honestly, guys, he came much, much better. I mean, you can see that he looked much smaller than in Ohio, but his conditioning was much improved. Look at the glutes here. Look at the hamstrings and pretty much everything. The stomach, the, the lower back. He really trimmed a lot of water down. And for that reason, he placed much higher. A few days ago, I made a video about him potentially winning this show and do i think he deserved to win it or at least to place higher than he did was he able to beat Rolly? was it close honestly from this shot from back double bicep he won it this is Rolly's worst pose he just ha doesn't have any depth it looks very very shallow and the, his glutes also looking undeveloped compared to josh so i mean for that reason i give this pose to josh by far but from the front and from the back lat spread and so on you know the overall thickness of Rolly's physique the the the, the roundness the fullness the danced muscle that he has and all that stuff just overwhelmed josh and for that reason Rory definitely deserved it and he brought better conditioning from before i mean you know Rory won actually third place at the mr olympia guys so he's a top-notch competitor he is potentially the next mr olympia if he pulls everything together but i mean let's not talk about it right now because it's questionable whether he's gonna bring the conditioning and this time he definitely brought great conditioning he wasn't as good as he could have been, but he deserved third place. So I'm thinking he deserved it, absolutely. But Josh made crazy improvements, and for that I commend him. I just loved what I saw, and I'm thinking that he's going to bring much, much better conditioning and much better overall package at this upcoming Mr. Olympia. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. So third place went to Raleigh Winkler. And uh, Raleigh was definitely improved, way, way better than Ohio. He actually pulled vacuum, so I'm gonna make a separate video about it. He actually pulled vacuum, so that was amazing. And aside from this phenomenon, this kind of humongous bodybuilder, one of the best, one of the biggest bodybuilders of today, pulling a vacuum pose, this is really extraordinary. This is something to be talked about. But aside from that, he also brought great conditioning. He was amazing, but from the front, from the back, he was not that impressive. I mean, he is good. He probably deserved the third place. I mean, let's be real. He brought pretty much everything that you can ask for. He came very, very tight, very, very sharp. And for that reason, even his back looked pretty good, which is surprising for Rolly. Overall, great package. Very, very, very good, Rolly. He plays third, but potentially he deserved maybe even second place. But second place went to Cedric McMillan. And as you can see, Cedric brought it this time, definitely. So I cannot complain. Uh, he definitely brought some great shape. Uh, you can see his abs when he's hitting front double bicep. I mean, there you can see how much water and fat he actually trimmed down. I mean, look at it now. Look at it when he flexes his abs compared to what it was before. And look, I mean, he trimmed a lot of that fat or water down, so he definitely improved quite a bit. This was very surprising and exciting for me to see these kind of changes in such a short time span. And look at Josh also. I mean, his stomach looks peeled as hell. He looks like a fitness model. Just kidding, of course, he does not, but his stomach is definitely looking much, 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 more, much better. And yeah, you can see most muscular. And yeah, the winner was William Bonac, of course. I mean, everybody expected this. It was, you know, pretty obvious that's going to happen. It was very unrealistic to expect anybody else to win it except him. So he definitely brought an amazing shape once again. 
he did not improve. He came the same as he was in Ohio. But in Ohio, it was Brandon Curry versus William Bonick. And everybody else was few places behind. So, I mean, this time we didn't have Curry. We had just Bonick and he brought the same shape as he usually does. For that reason, he won it. And deservedly so. Nobody else came near him, in my opinion. So, yeah. Amazing results. I really liked what I saw in this competition. It was very, very surprising and exciting. And yeah, bodybuilding is getting exciting again. I love that. I love to see that. And I hope you guys love it too. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, if you want to see more coverage of bodybuilding competitions and pretty much any kind of bodybuilding content, I'm going to be posting new videos every single day. That's a promise. And leave a comment in the comment section below. Be a part of this bodybuilding journey. Let's, let's have fun together. I, I will reply every single comment of yours. I respect everyone's opinion. And you can troll me. You can say bad things. You can say good things. Whatever you want guys just say something let's let's interact let's talk about this Let, let's have fun when it comes to bodybuilding so if you enjoyed this video once again like it and tell me something tell me your opinion down below all the best guys bye bye